Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Trailmakers, and today I've got a stupid idea, and I can't wait to see it in action. So in the last episode, I was reminded that we actually have a concrete wall dispenser, and this thing, when you press the button, literally dispenses concrete walls. I mean, who would have guessed by the name, honestly. So I was thinking, what if we put this thing on a car and then had it spawn the wall in front of your car while you're going at max speed? Will the wall stop your car? It'd basically be like having a crash test car that carries its own crash test wall with it. So let's do a um, let's do a proof of concept design just by building a basic frame and then putting this thing in front of it and seeing how it behaves. Then we'll build a full car and then deal with this mechanism somehow in a slightly more advanced way. All right, so here's prototype design here. So if you press space, oh, that's not the direction. I think I'm hoping that we can uh, just rotate this 90 degrees and the, that means the wall will spawn in 90 degrees as well. Oh, yes. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. So I think once the walls hit the ground, they become completely static. Yes. Yes. Now, the question is, when we spawn it in, is the wall going to become completely static as we're going forward? Here we go. Three, two, one. Spawn. Oh, no. Okay. We are now carrying... Uh-oh. <laughs> it seems that the wall has become static in the air and has completely trapped our vehicle underneath it. We have nowhere to go now. Oh, this is interesting. All right, what happens if I re I, not enough space to, I'm literally, oh, there we go. There, that saved me. That saved me. And now we can repair. Okay, so it seems that the wall has a bit of a hang time after it spawns in. I can't even repair when I'm like, when I'm trapped like that. So I might, I don't know how this is gonna work now, to be honest. Like, we, we might have to move this thing, like, really far away from our vehicle. How much of a buffer do we need it? And then our speed's gonna change how far away it needs to be, too. All right. Oh, did that really not break the sign there? Okay, and... Huh. Oh, that's a little bit better. But the wall isn't static yet. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get the wall to stay stat... Oh, jeez. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get the wall to stay static while we're moving forward. It seems like it needs some time to calm down before it becomes a static object. Oh, there we go. Now it's a static object. That is so weird. What if we just keep spawning them in? All right, ready? Eh, eh, eh. Oh, that, it broke. It broke the thing. Okay, well, let's move it farther. Uh, hope that this has different results. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing here. All right, and spawn. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's not high enough. Let's move it up higher. Okay, and spawn. What? Did you see that the wall like spawned and stayed? Oh no, the wall stays up. Okay, we may have to actually spawn from the side. That might not be too bad. And spot. Oh, hold, oh. Okay, we got an issue. <laughs> The wall spawner doesn't work exactly how I thought. It appears that it spawns the wall colliding with the actual spawner itself. Like, here, we can zoom out a little bit here, and you can see it actually spawns it. It's built to be spawned and left behind the spawner, as you can see. So, in order to do this, where it's not going to interfere with itself... Oh, I think I... What? How is that possible? What, what have we done? Does it still work? It still works. We've just... I don't know how to explain what just happened, but somehow we've destroyed pieces of our vehicle, but in reality, they're still there. Just... Oh, there we go. Now they're destroyed for real. I think I'm understanding what needs to happen here. We actually need to have, like, a cradle like this. So it's, it's gonna be centered, but there has to be nothing behind it. For the wall to collide with. Yes, yeah, see? See? <gasps> yes, now it's gonna work, maybe. Alright, and spawn. Ah, yes. That's closer ish. If it was like instant static object, that'd make things a little bit easier. But as you can see, it takes a little bit. But you know what? Let's start off by building a car worthy of crashing first, and then it will modify the car to be able to accommodate whatever kind of crazy monstrosity this wall spawner is going to need. All right, well, here goes nothing.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first car prototype. Uh, this is without the wall building mechanism. I just thought I'd be nice to have a frame of a car. Now, it is super back heavy right now in preparation for the fact that we're going to have to stick something out way out in front of us that is probably going to adjust that weight. But um, I don't know what I was going for here. Originally, I was going for like a weird classic car look, like with the boxy kind of look and the fins on the back. And then it just turned into like a Jeep somewhere along the line, borderline golf cart. So I just decided to roll with it and, uh, oh. I figured out uh, we'd make it pretty big because it needs to counteract the weight. And also the bigger it is, then the more pieces there are to kind of crash and explode. So that's kind of fun too. But um, speaking of which, yeah, there we go. That was a pretty satisfying collapse there. <laughs> but now we have the hard part, which I know is just gonna be full of failure and just trial and error. We got to create some way to make a wall spawn in front of this thing that it crashes into. And what I, ideally what I would like to do is have it extend out somehow, but the amount of pistons we're going to need is just going to be ridiculous. So I'll try something out and then I'll show you guys the inevitable failure of result that our first try is going to be. Okay, guys, my first attempt so far at building a mechanism that might war extend out in front of me actually instantly destroys the car. You ready for this? Once I press repair, it's going to explode itself. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. I set out to create a self-crashing car, and I create created a self-destructing car inadvertently. Like... <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so now we can kind of have it, like, arch over us, because when we extend the pistons, they're not the... Oh, our weight in the... Ba oh, what? <laughs> Our weight in the back isn't doing us any favors right now. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. It's kind of like a tail that we can use to whip ourselves around. Oh, boy. And spot on the wall. Oh, this is not going to work. All right. I'm just going to extend it out forwards. All right. Is the wall even spawning? Okay. The wall is kind of spawning in the right. No, it's not spawning in the right direction. We need to flip it. This thing is just a weight distribution nightmare. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Wait forward. There we go. Okay, all I want to do is just extend this thing outwards, spawn in the wall. Oh, that might actually work. Did I accidentally set that thing to toggle? It spawned in like four walls in a row. Okay, it's not on toggle. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold, hold on. No, stop. Stop. Stop with the thing. Stop with the thing. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Careful now. Careful now. Okay, extend. And spawn in the wall. Ooh, ooh, oh, okay. This is... I'm gonna make it longer. I think longer is more reasonable. And you know what? I'm just gonna overall add more weight in all areas of this crap of this car because we just need more weight to counteract this floppy arm that we have. Okay. Apparently, I put a little bit too much weight in the front. I'm just going to respond by putting more weight in the back. That seems like the reasonable thing to do. Okay, putting more weight in the back didn't help. <sighs> this is the worst thing I've ever done. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, we're going to go ahead and straighten it out. And wall spot. Oh! <gasps> actually was what I was trying to do. <laughs> I can't believe that that worked that way. Oh, I gotta do that again. Okay, ready? Here we go. We're gonna get some speed here. Get some, not too much, not too much. Get some speed, extend it, and spawn. Look at the piston sticking out of the thing. <laughs> this is actually working, people. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try to get to max speed. I don't know what max speed is, but we're gonna get there. All right, we gotta hurry up. Okay, here we go. I think we're there. Extend. And spawn. Oh! <laughs> our seat survived. Everything but our seat got destroyed in that. That was awesome. Oh, this is the stupidest idea I've ever come up with. But also, probably among my top favorites. Like, spawning a wall in and crashing into it isn't even half the fun of this thing. The derpiness of just having this extendo arm protruding from the top of this vehicle is like that that's where the real entertainment seems to be <laughs> coming from here i just put like a lot more pistons on this thing so i don't know what's gonna happen now okay
Um, some very, very odd things are happening. But we're just gonna roll with it. Literally, we're gonna roll with it. Oh, no, we are rolling with it. That's not how I wanted to roll with it. Why are those pistons all weird? Okay, well, let's just do it anyway. I'm just gonna try to turn nice and slow. Oh, this thing is just strange. Okay. Now we're going straight. Let's go for it. Aim up a little bit. Extend and wall. Oh, no, oh, nope. <laughs> Alright, I think I think we've clearly reached our limit of pistons. So let's go ahead and delete a bulk a, a bunch of those again. Alright, this looks like it might be a little bit shorter than the original. Ooh! Oh, look at that! That's amazing! <laughs> Oh, we lost the thing, though. Oh, boy. Oh, this car is just... It's the most ridiculous concept. You know how car manufacturers always have those, like, crazy high-end concept cars that they show off at, like, the car shows and things like that? Like, imagine what Scrapman's garage would look like if Scrapman was a brand of car and all of the concept cars that I'd have to show off. It'd be, uh... It'd be legendary. I think I think that's the only word to describe it, really. Oh, here. Oh, no, no. Go back out. Go back out. And wall. Oh, <laughs> oh man. I like to... I, just, I really like to focus on practicality when I build my creations. Just make sure it's really useful and something that you could just envision helping humanity in the long run, which is why I've built the self-crashing car. I mean, just think about all the money that we spend on testing cars and crashing them and the, the amount of money we have to put into building the facilities for these crash tests. Imagine if that facility could come to you with the car that you intend to crash in the first place. I mean, ignore the fact that it's a one-time use only and then you have to get an entirely new facility every single time. Okay, I'm, I'm not helping myself here, am I? There's really no excuse for this. This is just a pure self-gratification entertainment thing. Everyone likes destruction and oh. <laughs> and this thing just allows you to destroy. And really, there's nothing else. There's nothing. There's no other per conceivable purpose for this thing. Look at that. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Have some fun. Oh. Oh, that was kind of brutal. Oh, right through the windshield. Oh, our driver would be so dead. Full speed ahead and extend and roll. Ooh. I am so happy that this thing worked the way that it was intended. I was a little bit, little bit worried with those initial uh, proof of concept tests at the beginning of the episode. In the end, we were able to create a vehicle that successfully spawned its own crash test wall and crash it itself into that wall. So uh, let me know what you thought of this episode down in the comments. Leave a like if you did and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future content like this. And if you want to see more awesome Trailmakers content, definitely go ahead and check out this playlist right here. Click it now. Watch as many videos as you want. There's over a hundred of them. And let me know if you have any other ideas you want to see in this uh, series. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.